When you decide to fly, you get an education at one of the top universities in the country. You get all the opportunities of one of the nation's proudest cities. And you get a coach, a team, a fan base, and a program like no other. Boston College Football, decide to fly. This week on Boston College Football, decide to fly, the Eagles find their rhythm. Boston College wins on the final play of the game, and the Eagles win it 45 to 42. They embrace the traditions and honor of those who played before them, knowing that any height can be used. Moody throws it down. Moody, 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 Moody. Cut by Cut. Boston College. I don't believe it. Cut. Cut. The Eagles win it, win it, win it, Frank win Frank it. Upholding the values of compassion, integrity, and service for their families, their teammates, and their school. They leave here prepared for any field. This is what makes college football so fun. They put on the maroon and gold, knowing that not everyone can play here, as at their core, they are true student athletes. This is heart. This is pride. This is worth cheering for. This is Boston's college. Welcome to Boston College Football. Decide to fly. Your finest hour, your finest hour as a man, as a team, as a man, is when people doubt you, they doubt your conviction, they doubt your fabric, they doubt you. And you come together because of the belief in your principles and the belief in your your foundation, and you stick together. And with unbelievable faith, you draw from each other because you know what you see is real. And when everyone doubts that, you become stronger as a unit. You become stronger in your faith, and you become stronger as one. And that's the foundation of the making of a good football team. And it really declares you. It gives you an opportunity to find out exactly what the fabric of what is behind this football team. We got an opportunity to go out today and go do what we do. Play physically tough, mentally tough, play with and for each other, and be relentless in our effort nonstop. And to be a part of getting in the locker room to sing the fight song together. And to experience and to validate and to bear fruit on that great foundation that's been laid. We all know it. There's nobody in here that doubts it. Don't let anybody else do it. You know it. You know it. it's real. It's not real complicated. You see it on the film, you see it every day. We gotta go out, play four quarters. We gotta play together, we gotta play relentless. That's what this thing's all about, man. And play with energy and excitement, no fear of anything. Roll as hard as we can go, man. Four to six seconds, relentless effort. Point A to point B, you go as hard as you can go, man. That's what this game's all about. People want to make it bigger, it's not bigger than that. You grab a hand of the guy next to you, you go as hard as you can go. Four to six seconds, every play. Then you line up and you do it again. Point A to point B. Wham! It's like you play the game. And everyone's cheering everybody, and everyone's bringing the best to everybody. And you have an unbelievable, undeniable will, man. Let's go play with that passion. That passion. That great feeling. We are! Easy. We are! Easy. We are! Easy. The Eagles closed out a busy September at Alumni Stadium with their fifth game of the month. After giving up an early safety against Central Michigan, they were looking for a special performance and got it from their special teams. And the chips will punt. Sheldon line drive kick. This is returnable. Caught on the fly. Midfield and more to the outside, trying to turn the corner. Walker inside the 20, inside the 10, going for the pylon. And he stepped out of bounds at the 
five yard line. It's going to be first and goal for BC. Injuries made it a tough week for practice, but Michael Walker's punt return provided a spark for the banged up Eagles. Handed the ball right up the middle, tumbling into the end zone. Touchdown, Boston College goes John Hilleman. For Hilleman and Walker, it was a preview of more to come later. On a day where the Eagles would continue their physical brand of football, turning away the Chippewas while waiting for another opportunity. From the 12 yard line, across the 20, here he goes again. Open field, 40, 45, and brought down at the 47 yard line. Walker would have one of the best punt returning days in school history and had the Eagles on the move again. The football just outside the Chips 15. This is Dillon, and Dillon untouched to the end zone. Touchdown, Boston College. Nestled between conference games, the Central Michigan battle could have been a so-called trap game, but the Eagles were too focused to let that happen. Playing well in most facets of the game, they would build a 21-8 halftime lead. Blitz coming. Here's Morris right into the teeth of it. Throws. Then the help arrives, and he'll be brought down, and the Chips will have to punt. A lethal proposition for Central Michigan as Walker's first three returns totaled 124 yards, all setting up touchdowns. Hilleman easily into the end zone for the Boston College touchdown. 21-8 at halftime and music to the ears of the BC faithful who were enjoying the performance. The second half started with more of the same. Boston College instilling their will at the line of scrimmage and they scored again on their first possession of the second half. That block, nice block. Madrizi, number 85 in the hole. Again, first down for Dillon. He's got a touchdown run. Still on his feet inside the 10 yard line. It's going to be first and goal for Boston College near the 8 yard line. A.J. Dillon. It's like he's burst out of a cannon. The first BC true freshman to rush for over 100 yards in three years. Here's Brown on the rollout. Touchdown. Hilleman is third touchdown of the day. Two on the ground, one in the air, and the defense protected the lead. Shane Morris back to pass, no play action this time. Steps up the pocket, hit as he throws. That's going to be Ty Schwab who causes the fumble, and then number two, Zach Allen. You know, not a lot of people talk enough about Allen. Allen's first career interception was one of three the Eagles picked off. Harris to throw again, right down the seam, and that pass is going to be picked off. Lucas Dennis started the day tied for second in the nation in interceptions, part of a relentless Eagles defense that never let up, and he would get another. And that pass is intercepted. Pass is intercepted. And that's going to be the second interception of the day for Dennis. And Dennis wants to take it to the house. He's dragged down from behind, but not before he gets around the Chips 27-yard line. It was the first two-pick game of Dennis's career. Not perfect, but a workmanlike effort that got the Eagles back in the win column with the heart of the ACC schedule in full view. Hey, listen, that was a physical deal. It was a physical pounding. It was guys digging deep, both sides of the ball. There was a lot of physicality. I think we all know that we do things the hard way here, OK? And you know, it would be nice to do them a little bit the easier way, you know? But what's unbelievable and undeniable, okay, it's undeniable, is your heart, your toughness, okay, and your passion for the game. It's not deniable. We're not quite in sync yet, right? We, you know, and I, and I, and I think I know why, okay? But we got to get in sync. We got to just groove in, man. When we have these great opportunities, we got to take them and run with them. You know, we've got to capitalize on both sides of the ball. We've got to make great decisions. We've got to take care of the football. Two backs today, AJ went over 100. John was just about 100. They played their tail off. But we got to take care of the football at the end of the game, OK? And your, your look in your eye, Tommy, I go down the list, uh, Zach, just watching you guys play, OK? I can see the passion in your eyes and the love for the game and the love for your teammates in BC. I, I can. I'm not just being, I'm just telling you what I see, you know? But we have got to take the next step. I think we all know that. That next step is just getting rid of the rough edges and, 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 and the mistakes here and there. And you, with your work ethic, we'll do it. Okay, we'll do it. Ready, ready, one, two, three. Hi, you're watching Boston College Football. It's just nothing but a four-hour 
show a window of whose team's got a stronger will. We got to do it with unbelievable, relentless effort. He definitely um, can get you going. I think he's one of the greatest uh, pre-game, post-game, halftime uh, coach that can actually speak to the team. Uh, he gets me going every day. Um, he does a great job taking care of us. It's about energy and passion. And at the end of the day, it's about will. Who's got the stronger will? Someone's going to walk off that field win or someone's not. Simple as that. I think he just believed in me. Uh, they were the first school to offer me coming out of high school. So just the fact that um, he has faith in me um, to develop as a player and to bring in these coaches that I've been so grateful to have, um, it's been awesome. You can get whatever you want if you want it bad enough. It always comes down to that. How bad and how deep are you willing to draw? He's loving. He's always fair. And he uh, puts us in a best position to succeed. Passionate, he's, he's passionate. Uh, his love for the game is insane, and uh, he loves us more than he loves football. And he's a family-oriented guy, and uh, that's kind of branched off on our unit. Coach Adazio has been basically like a dad away from home for me. You know, he uh, gave me the opportunity to come play for this great school and uh, make some of the best friends I'm ever gonna have for the rest of my life. Respect the game and have great faith. There's nothing more powerful than that. And you're a part of it. You own it. It's here. Love on that, man. That's powerful stuff here in this locker room. And it's the most powerful thing to come out as one and play as one. But we love him. To the, to the death. We, we play for him, we play for each other, and we're such a close-knit group. And he's, he's molded us to be that way, with, especially with these two recruiting classes right now that are seniors, mine and the class under me, the first two of his, cla his class recruits. And he's just molded us to love each other and love him. And Coach Dazio, but he coaches hard. He's an animal. He, uh, he definitely knows how to get it done, and he's relentless, and he wants us to play relentless. We look up to him almost, so the way he acts is how we want to act and how our team wants to act and hold ourselves. I've been fortunate to be around him for this. is going to be my fourth year around him. He's a tough guy, but he really, really cares about his players, he really tries to put them in the best position to be successful. And, um, you know, and he's just an all-around guy to, you know, learn from, a real guy that you can really learn from about life lessons, things off the football field, which is most important. And just an all-around just stand-up guy, really. Believe in your training, your preparation, your coaches, and believe in each other. Play BC football. That's what that is. Tough, relentless, four to six seconds of relentless effort. Flying around the field. Energy, juice, passion. All you got. That's what you need to do. Focus on that. Get your mind on that. We are BC. We are BC. We are BC. Listen, I'm, I'm not going to get into the... Let me say it the best way I can, okay? I love our team. I'm not going to get into breaking down. I got to do a better job. Let's leave it like that, okay? Let's just leave it like that. So I got, we got to go back to work, and I got to, I got to coach them better. I got to coach them harder, and we're going to keep growing. And the reality of it is that's all going to come together. We have played three top 25 teams. Okay, we're playing really good football teams right now, and we're playing really physical, really aggressive, and we got some guys spilling it. That's what this team is doing right now, and I love them, and I love them, and they're going to get better, and they're going to grow. It's sometimes it's never on exactly the timetable that we want it on, but I love them, and I love their work ethic, and I love the way they handle it, and I love the fact that they believe in each other, okay? I love all that. I've been around this business long enough, fellas. Okay, at every level, and I've seen it a long time. It'll come together, and it'll be beautiful. You can write that one down, okay? I don't have the time clock on it right here, but it'll come together, and it'll be beautiful, all right? And the investment is worth it. So I'm excited about the investment. We just keep rolling.
Early in their trip to Louisville, it didn't look like the Eagles would reach that time clock just yet as they fell behind. Jackson towards the end zone, reaching for it, he's in. Louisville leads 13 to nothing. Much of the first half would be an uphill battle, but that's okay with BC. Physically and mentally, it's what they prepare for. Play fit, Brown rolling out right. Wide open man at the 25 is Thad Smith. Makes the move at the 10, and Thad Smith takes it in for the Eagles. That's a big play. That's what we're talking about. They got it in them. Late in the half, they again were down two touchdowns when they made a statement. Brown got away, Dave. Brown makes a cut at the 40. He's got the first down or more. Anthony Brown to the 20. Look at Anthony Brown inside the 20. What a run. Brown's big play gave Boston College a chance to pull within a touchdown in the final minute. They'll give it to Dylan left side, and he's in. Touchdown, Eagles. This Boston College team doesn't just pay lip service to work ethic. Their colors may be maroon and gold, but they are strictly blue collar when their backs are against the wall. In the second half at Louisville, they rolled up their sleeves and went to work. What we would see next was an embodiment of their beliefs combined with physical and mental resolve to make sure that that four hour window would open wide for them. And they would face more adversity, continuing without hesitation even when they lost quarterback Anthony Brown because Darius Wade was the next man up. It's just the way they do things. Fourth down and a yard and a half. Wade looking to pass, dumps it off. Caught by Hilleman, past the 50 to the 45 of Louisville. First down, Boston College. Caught by Sweeney. Sweeney past the 30 up the left half. Darius Wade under center. Give to Dylan straight ahead. Dylan end zone. Touchdown, Boston College. He's the eagle in the end zone. How do you like that? Boston College faithful loved that and the fact that the Eagles would reel off four unanswered touchdowns. The give. Dylan past the 40. Far side 45 50. Dylan to the 40. Dylan to the 35 of Louisville. First down and more for the explosive Bell Cow. AJ Dylan as the booze cascade down at Papa John's Cardinal Stadium. And it's caught. Sweeney past the 20. Sweeney, Sweeney past the 15. Sweeney to the 10, to the 7. Tommy Sweeney breaking tackles. Here effort, he moved the pile. Six yards, and the Eagles take the lead. And the defense would do its part, too. Jackson's pass is intercepted. Intercepted by Boston College. It's Wyatt Ray, number 11, the pick for BC. Wyatt Ray. Dillon breaking through and into the end zone. A.J. Dillon, his third rushing touchdown of the game. Oh, A.J. Dillon, you are the man! Exclamation point, touchdown, Boston College. Is that bow worthy? Bow, bow, bow. Dillon was on his way to a career-high 272 rushing yards, the third most productive running game in Boston College history. But he may have saved his best for the last. <laughs> A.J. Dillon down the sideline. Dillon trying to dash to the end zone for the Eagles, and he's gone. A.J. Dillon, fourth rushing TD of the game. Get off me! And it's 75 yards. Get off me! What a miraculous run by A.J. Dillon! His fourth touchdown of the game, and no flags! Are you kidding me? Dillon's historic performance was a treat to watch, but the job was not finished. The Eagles still had to contend with the reigning Heisman Trophy winner. BC battled back from a two touchdown deficit, so would Louisville. Jackson breaks away! Jackson headed to the end zone! Touchdown, Lamar Jackson of 41 yards. Tied at 42, Jackson leads him on the field for Louisville. 2.50 to go in this fantastic football game. The moment where a game is won or lost. Just over two minutes to go in regulation. The pass at the 40 is caught. Ball's now out. the ball's on the turf. Boston College has scooped it up. Dave, I didn't hear a whistle. Here's Cameron Moore. 
And that ball comes out and is available. But not for long. Isaac Yaidem alertly pounced, and that put it on a tee for A.J. Dillon to finish his historic day. Dillon, that's a first down and more inside the 25. It'll come together, and it'll be beautiful. You can write that one down. If you can't play for Steve Adazio, you can't play. And these Eagles can play. This from Lichtenberg to win it for the Eagles. 27 yards away, and he knocks it right through. Boston College wins on the final play of the game, and the Eagles win it 45 to 42. To get to this level of football, you have to believe in yourself. To win a game like this, you have to believe in each other. On this Saturday in the Kentucky Autumn Sunshine, the Eagles fell behind twice by two touchdowns in a hostile road environment. They lost their starting quarterback. It was the perfect opportunity to put to practical use the philosophies and beliefs of this program. As Robert Browning wrote, a man's reach should exceed his grasp or what's a heaven for? Boston College 45, Louisville 42. The Eagles have stunned the Cardinals. One, two, three, four. Boston, for Boston, we sing our proud refrain. For Boston, for Boston, tis wisdom's earthly pain. For here a one and our hearts are true, and the towers on the high streets of heaven so blue. For Boston, for Boston, to the echoes ring of it. We have got to play four quarters of Boston College football. We've got to play together with each other. We just got to make sure that we leave it on the field, everything we got. Let's go! So proud of our kids for finding a way to get that done. Our physicality up front on the offensive line was something was remarkable. 368, nine yards rushing the football. I mean, it was remarkable. So I just think as a program, you know, we just all year long we've just been battling. People say, oh, how do kids attitude? That kids attitude is great. They're anxious to get to practice every week, get a little better, and take the next step. I mean, we've gone toe-to-toe -to, -toe to people, but we haven't taken the next step. We had to take the next step. And we've got a lot of guys in there that are in the process of doing that right now. Young guys, like, I mean, A.J. Dillon, you see what he did today? I mean, he was, I've been around a long time. He was a beast. I mean, that was a unbelievable, unbelievable performance. And John Hillman had a great performance today. He had critical key plays. So those guys dug real deep. This is an egoless team that's just scrapping to find a way to win.